Hey, um, we're the Bass Bros. This is Spencer. I'm Wyatt. And yeah, we are from Connecticut. We've been fishing there for almost our entire lives. Uh, we catch a lot of bass. Lately, lately we've been catching a lot of bass. Spencer caught, catches like 14 pound, 14 pounders. Um, 14 inches, I mean. Uh, I caught a 12 incher the other day. Um, but they're from Candlewood, so I don't think we can eat them from there. Um, so yeah, basically we've been in Rhode Island right now, uh, we've been on the beach, it's like, uh, it's the most amazing vacation ever, and we've been fishing a lot too, and, um, we were fishing in the Saltwater River, it comes right out of the ocean, the current's very strong, there's actually stripers, like, a lot of stripers in there, and a lot of flounder, and bluefish, Spencer caught blue f two bluefish, I caught two bluefish, and, We've been actually having a lot of fun this week, and so we want to show you the lures you can use to catch stripers, and bluefish, and flounder. So, um, if we come over here, um, Spencer is going to describe the minnows that we've been using, and we've also been using some squid lately, so yes, Spencer. Alright, so um, as you can see, this little um, minnow guy right here, the bottom part is really shiny, so if you hook it at the top of the black part, when he's swimming through the water, the shiny part's going to shine right down and go on the fish, and the fish can't really resist that. They'll just chomp right on it. Now, we've been using barbed hooks, sort of, with that little point right there. So at, so you can't, they can't really come out. It's really hard, and you just hook it right through the top, right through the black part. And then the, the bottom part is just sitting there. And then there. Well, I didn't hook it that well, but... Yeah, but that, that's basically that's how you pretty hook much it. it. And then the bottom just shines on the bottom. This, these are the poles that we've been using, actually. They're, um, this one is a tiger spinning, and this one is a sturdy stick. Um, this one's a little smaller, but it's very thick, and um, when you hook a fish, it does not bend as much. This one, however, does bend a, a lot, but you'll know when you have a fish, because... They will go right after these things. And when they do go after these fish, it's not like a little bite. It's like a chomp. They're swimming as fast as they can right at it. And um, this is my new freshwater fishing pole. Um, my cousin actually gave it to me, my cousin John. He has a fishing, he, has, he actually has a fishing channel too. It's called Res Dog Fishing. And so I'm going to show you how to string it through for anybody who's new at this. And I'm gonna hook it up and show you how to do that. So yeah. While he's doing that, I just wanted to explain. Um, we got a really good deal on these poles. Um, we got two of these at a yard sale right on our way here, to, uh, for twenty four dollars. And this red line right here is pretty much clear through through the water, so the, the fish don't even see it. And it is very thick, very tight. Now with the squid, if we're instead of using lures, if you're gonna go with flounder, flounder, you wanna get the Big chunk of squid and hook it right on the hook. Square on the hook. Get some nice weights. Throw it out there. Let the current take it down. And then the weight will just bring it down to the bottom. And the flounder is sitting on the bottom. They'll just jump up, bite the squid, and you probably will have one. Um, this is, um, I'm going to show you how to hook up one of these, um, one of these hooks on there. Just so that... When you are hooking up one of the, when you're hooking up some fish, you don't, you have a clue how to do it so that you you don't hook yourself. So um, if you are using a nice hook like this, because this is a very nice shiny hook right here, it's very new. So if you do hook yourself, um, you'll be all right. You don't need to get a tetanus shot. The other day, I actually hooked myself in the thumb. I was bleeding all over the place, but. The good thing is, it was a new hook. So, this is how you put it through. You put it, you um, tie it around, and you put it through this little hole right here. Do that. You have to do this a couple of times, because you don't want it to fall off on the first bite. So, yeah, if you keep putting it through just like this, then you will be fine. And, yeah, so, uh, Spencer... Um, these lures really worked, right, Spence? Like, yeah. when we were doing the bluefish, we caught, um, as I said before, we caught two bluefish ourselves. Both of us caught two bluefish. I actually thought that was pretty surprising. And you know how, um, uh, if you're not, if you don't know about this, um, when you are catching bluefish, they have no regulation size. So you could basically eat any of them. But I would, if, 
If any of you are um, wondering if you should eat the small ones, I wouldn't eat the small ones because they don't taste very good. Really they don't they don't have enough meat on their bones yet. But when when you do get a big bluefish, they have enough meat. So uh, if you um, are trying to get a good meal, um, I would either go for fla uh, flounder or a uh, pretty big bluefish because they do taste good. Well, um, the, yeah. the little bluefish, um, if you want to, you can put like a good sized bobber on there. Let the current take the squid downstream and anything, those little tiny um, snapper sort of things, the tiny bluefish about this big, they'll just jump on. There's like hundreds of them. And they jump out of the water for the little size minnows as like these things. Those will actually catch you, those too. But mostly stripers. And even if you throw this on the bottom, the flounders might jump out. Um, another way, as Wyatt was saying before, how to tie the hook. Another way, um, you could get the loop like this, like that. See that loop? You twist it around. Twist and twist and twist. I'd say around eight times. And then you pick this line up and hook it through this hole. Like, yeah, that's, that's a very good way. And um, yeah, I'm not. that that actually is a very good way. Um, <coughs> and it um, so um, that's pr that's our setup video actually. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video and click the that subscribe button and that like button. And yes, we'll, we will be coming up with some very with some videos very shortly, probably in the next couple of hours because we're going to be going fishing on that river. If we do not catch anything, um, we probably won't upload it. But you know what? We'll try our best. So. Um, thank you for watching. And Once again, please click the subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you all next video. Thanks for watching. All right, bye. Bass Bros, we'll see you later.